Where should you put the tattoo in relationship to the lesion? If you're going to be referring to surgery, I think it's best to mark typically the distal side. Some colonoscopists mark the proximal and distal sides. That's really unnecessary, potentially confusing. The surgeon has to identify two sets of tattoos. So just uh, make it simple, be consistent, put it on the distal side, usually two to three centimeters from the lesion and in three to four quadrants. And then document that by photographing the completed tattoo, which usually will show the lesion immediately proximal to the tattoo, and say in the report where you put it. For example, this lesion was marked immediately distally in four quadrants with a total of four ml of spot. Okay, so let's demonstrate in real time the marking of a colorectal cancer. You can see a fairly flat colorectal cancer here in the left colon. And the optimal location is distal uh, to the tumor, usually by a distance of two to three centimeters, which sort of puts us around a turn. We can't really see the tumor uh, very well anymore. And we are going to use the bleb technique, and we want to mark the colon usually in three or four quadrants so that the surgeon can easily see at least one of the tattoos from the um, peritoneal cavity. We are going to get on the uh, anti-mesenteric side of the tumor with at least one of these injections if we make a ring all the way uh, around. I like to try to keep the uh, tattoos at the same level. Some people uh, seem to get them spiraling down the colon away from the uh, tumor with the injections more and more distal. So try to use the initial injections as a marker so that you sort of end up with a ring that's pretty much at the same level. The bleb technique here is uh, allowing us to uh, be sure that we're going to get into the submucosal space. Right now we're a little bit on FOS uh, with our bleb injection. We're using saline here, putting about a cc in for each bleb. I like to just put all of the saline in first so that uh, when we're finished we can flush the catheter with spot and start right in putting spot into each of our uh, saline blebs. In this on FOSS position, if you just sort of poke a little bit and then pull back on the needle to see if the needle is in that submucosal space, you can often see the actual shape of the needle. And there's our nice um, submucosal saline blebs. And now we've flushed the catheter with spot and we're going back in and putting one cc of spot into uh, each of these initial saline blebs and then that's going to finish the job uh, for us. Once we're finished we will take a photograph of the tattoos. Hopefully the tumor will be visible in there but we want to uh, demonstrate that we've done a good job. We're now going back to our initial uh, saline blebs and getting back into those to put a cc into each of those spots and then we're going to document that we have injected four mls of spot in four quadrants immediately distal uh, to the tumor. And that will be uh, all the documentation that we'll need to make sure that we get the correct segment, including the tumor, removed at the time of surgery. So proper technique and location for tumor marking.